how you all doing welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today i'll be showing you guys how to save yourself some coins by doing a diy you know do it yourself braided wigs at home and how to save yourself some coins in nigeria this braided wig and this length is probably like twenty thousand twenty five thousand so continue to watch this video if you actually want to learn or see the process of how i braided this wig all right guys the first thing i did was to pin the wig cap to the dummy and then arrange or braid the closure so guys the next thing you do is to use your index finger or something that has little space and then line the wig cap so that when you're braiding it will be arranged then you get your attachment i'm using a lush attachment and then you stretch so guys the next thing you do is to fetch your attachment you use your crochet pin and then you fetch you go through into the net and then you fetch your attachment and drag it out this is the reason why i said you need a line you know this is not a human being's hair this is a dummy and this is a wig cap so you have to create lines for yourself then you leave space in between each attachment that you're fetching in okay here's what i do before i start braiding the attachment i divide i just take one part of the extension and divide into four pieces and because i'll be adding i will just take one piece and the smaller piece if you get what i mean this is to ensure that my braidings are the same size you know so i'll be teaching you two methods here on how to do your braided wig the first method is you take the extra um extension that you want to braid and then you put it in between the one that you already crochet and then you tie it very firmly note guys it's going to be losing so you just ensure that it is very tight and then pin your hand ensure that your hand is firm enough on the mannequin and on the net before you start braiding so that it doesn't come off loose The second method is you take the attachments, the extra attachments, and then braid on top. Just hold the ones that you already crochet into the net and hold it firmly, then braid. If you can see what I'm doing, it's actually self explanatory. So guys i'll just take you guys through it again the first method is you tie the extra extension that you want to braid into the one that you already crochet hold it firmly make sure it's tight and then braid that's the first one so guys here i'm almost done with the braiding so there's something i want to show you guys uh, when you're crocheting you follow the lines number one and then in between make sure you crochet like after the braided ones down as you're crocheting the space in between each braiding please guys when braiding ensure that your braiding is not so full and this is to help the reason why i said you should braid in between each is so that it covers any space that is going to be showing
so here i was done with the back section and then i was trying to arrange extensions to prepare for the front so guys i already braided one side of the front in braiding this one is actually a knotless braid so you make sure the boxes are arranged and are in line ensure that you saw i took my time i repeatedly went back and forth back and forth to ensure that it was a straight line so the next thing you do is to start by braiding the attachment the closure and then add your extension sorry guys the mannequin was actually disturbing me so i was taking my time okay guys in braiding this make sure that the extension is showing more you cover the hair or the closure hair make sure you cover it or front tiles so just to make sure that it doesn't really show more it will show eventually but make sure that it is minimal Alright guys, notice how I am adding the attachment, the extra attachment I mean. You add and then you leave one out so that it doesn't come out. See how neatly it is and make sure that your braiding is firm so that the wig doesn't get old. Some people actually do like loose braids but it actually don't last. So, your choice. I would rather prefer my wigs are firm so that it lasts So guys, this is the last one, so I'll be taking my time to explain and to show you guys how I'm braiding it. And notice how I am actually turning the extensions so that it covers the main closure wig so that the showing will be very minimal. So having done that, the next thing is that you feel. You know that place that is so drowned in the, what they call it, the closure, yes. Then you go back in between those spaces, if you know what I mean, and then fill it in. Even the spaces at the back, ensure that you go back there and check for spaces at the back and fill it in. Don't fool the head too much so that it doesn't get very heavy just line it and do it just line by line so that it doesn't you know give leave space it's fine if you get what i mean
so guys after which you do your finishing touches check out the places where they there are spaces and fill it in then trim i didn't show you guys sorry guys i cut that part out you trim i trimmed outside the house so i didn't i couldn't film that part and then you dip inside hot water yes guys you dip it inside hot water the whole hair and then you leave it to dry when it finally gets dried then you know that inside part of the wig cap yes that part get your scissors and then cut it carefully carefully if you get what i mean just watch So guys, here with me, I have the wig. So the next thing we need to do is to cut this extra, this extra lace here. You have to cut it very gently and be careful with it. Very, very gently. Yes, guys. Then the next thing you would want to do is to take your powder i'm using the studio the zikel studio fix powder color of your powder guys you rub it like you know when you take it and then you would rub it on the lace just for it to get your color perfectly You can use your foundation but i'm using a powder because i do want to use a powder then the next thing you do is to check for the length or measure where you have your front hair in order to cut this so let's see let go So guys you check if it is well is it okay well arranged then this extra front areas you would want to trim what to do is to cut it this will be very small then you wear it again to see if it is what you actually wanted so guys you want to take your gel brush and then you want to pick that those areas and then gel it up all right guys voila this is the finished look of the braided wig and i'm actually really enjoying my wig thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe and share i love you guys so much let me know what you want to be seeing more often on my youtube channel and i will be delighted to you know grant your wishes you know see you guys later i love you guys so much Bye and ciao!